you guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to film for you a little what I eat in a day per your requests. I've been getting a lot of requests for nutrition related content. So here I am bringing you another video about what I eat in a day. Today I am breaking my fast at 10 a.m. with a cup of coffee. And the only thing I add to my coffee is this vanilla silk almond milk creamer and I add about a tablespoon. So I always start my day with a smoothie. The components of this smoothie are very important. Fiber, fat, protein, and greens. By fat, I mean healthy fats. So like an avocado or some kind of nut butter. Um, my nut butter of choice is almond butter. You wanna start with a liquid. I use silk almond milk. Unsweetened is very important because you don't wanna add a bunch of extra sugar. It's probably about one cup of almond milk to begin with. Sometimes I end up adding a little bit more. So starting with protein, I use the Orgain Organic Protein. So I just use two scoops. And this is the vanilla bean. So this is what it looks like with superfoods and it is the vanilla bean. And I get this from Costco. My green of choice is spinach. I'm just gonna add a handful of that. I'm gonna add some chia seeds. And these are also purchased at Costco. These are gonna be my fiber source. Fiber. And I'm gonna add two scoops of that. And this is a tablespoon. I am going to add two strawberries just for a little more sweetness. Next, I'm going to use my Marinatha almond butter. It's really good. And this is going to be my fat, my healthy fat. So I just did one big fat scoop of almond butter. I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more almond milk to the top of that. So my blender, if you don't have one of your own, this blender I think was only $59 on Amazon and I've been using it every single day since I got it. So it's definitely worth the investment. And it's super quick and easy and you can take this with you if you like have to drop your kids off at school in the morning or if you have to run to work like this will keep you full for about four hours. Because of the ingredients in this, it'll keep me sustained for longer and that's what I want. Because the longer you can stay full, the less you eat throughout the day and then you lose weight and burn calories and your body can get into ketosis faster and help you burn off those calories. So the reason I only add about two strawberries is because the sugar content in fruit is very high and when you add more fruit to your smoothies, that's gonna spike your blood sugar. And if your blood sugar is all over the place, that's gonna make you feel like you need to eat something to even that out. So if you add more fruit, it's gonna make you hungry sooner. Make sure if you do add fruit, you only add a little bit. So let's try this and see how it is. That's honestly so good. I've learned a lot recently from a book I've been reading. It's called Body Love. It's by Kelly Love AQ. And I'm a huge fan of Rachel Hollis. She had Kelly on her podcast. So that's where I learned about Kelly and I bought her book and I have learned so much from her. She's got a few videos on YouTube as well. So if you're watching this video, I know you're into YouTube. So search Kelly Leve Q and she has a little morning routine. There's lots of really, really good information. So definitely look her up, but wait till after you watch this video. <laughs> I will check back in with you guys once it's time for lunch. I also take a prenatal and it's not because I'm pregnant or trying to get pregnant. It's because it has a lot of really good vitamins and it's just like a multivitamin. And then I usually drink one of these, one and a half of these essential water bottles a day. That is a very large water bottle. On the lunch menu, we have shrimp and avocado salad. I'll show you how I'm gonna cook this shrimp. This is so easy and so quick. These are just detailed and deveined shrimp. I bought them in a large bag and I just separated them out. Gonna add my olive oil. 
just minced garlic. This much, not a whole lot. I'm gonna add some pepper. A little bit of salt. And these are coconut aminos. It's just like soy sauce, except it has lower sodium and it's just overall much better for you. And then while those are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and start on the salad. I think I might add some more pepper. If you've never tried the olive oil and salt and pepper on a salad, you're used to doing like the heavy like ranch or a thousand island or a western, like those are full of preservatives and high fructose corn syrup, depending on which brand you buy. I added salt and pepper to one of Zach's salads because he's the type he drenches his salads in Western because he doesn't want it to get stuck on the way down. That's what he says, because he thinks he's hilarious. But I put salt and pepper on his salad and he was like, what did you do to this? He's like, did you season this chicken differently? I was like, no, I just put salt and pepper on it. It's 4 p.m. and I'm, I really wasn't even that hungry, but I need to eat while Rosalie's sleeping so that I can just sit and enjoy my food. If we're gonna head to the gym as soon as she wakes up, I'll be nice and fueled to go lift. dinner I had this the southwestern salad and it had corn and black beans and lentils and really good a combination of yummy stuff that kept me really full I didn't end up putting any greens in my dinner because that was gonna be the last meal of the day and then I knew I was gonna go to bed pretty soon after I ate so I wasn't too concerned about staying full I just ate that plus I was completely stuffed so I didn't add any greens to my final meal of the day but it included all the other ingredients each of my meals are supposed to have 
But that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it useful and gave you some great ideas for what you should eat in a day. And please subscribe to my channel if you're new. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And turn on the notification bell to be the first to be notified every time I upload a new video. All right, guys. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll catch you soon. So